Welcome here to the GI Film Festival. Uh, can you talk a bit about what the experience has been like at this festival and, you know, the mes message that it has of honoring the military? Uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, the, the, the festival is amazing and uh, just being a part of something that, that really gives veterans an opportunity to, you know, spread their voice and tell their truth is, is amazing. Now, congratulations with, you know, your film. Uh, can you talk a bit of uh, that film uh, and how the film came together? Yeah, uh, with, with Cold Choices, uh, you know, I wanted to do something that was a little bit different from what I was seeing uh, with films today. Uh, most times, most military movies that I see, it deals with the military service member coming back home and then, you know, trying to reassimilate back into the civilian population. And I wanted to show that, hey, you know, majority of the military, we, we come back home and then we have to go back to work. So it just kind of deals with, you know, still being able to serve, but but dealing with those those problems and how, you know, I, I believe most most service members do, especially when they still got time left in the contract. You know, they got to come back home and they got to somehow swallow it and keep going, you know. So, you know, you now have this uh, film, you know, showing at the GI Film Festival. Um, do you have further plans for the film, you know, going forward at, you know, other festivals or, you know, is this it? And you know, I, it's, it's been accepted to a couple other festivals, so, uh, you know, I plan on, you know, hitting those up. And I've already written a feature for it. And uh, hopefully, you know, if, if the story can continue and we can, you know, put it on a broader, a broader board, then that, that's, that's great. And if not, um, then on to the next projects. Yeah. So much, man. Thank Enjoy you. the rest of the festival. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Well, welcome here to uh, Fairfax. Uh, can you talk a bit of you know how how Fairfax has been uh, uh, treating this week? This Did you just get in? Ever. I'm being, I got here last night. I have a wife and two kids in California, but I might not leave. I might just call them and tell them to come this way because this place is the deal. This is where it's all happening. Well, you know, as a, a former uh, vet, vet yourself, um, can you talk a bit of uh, what it's like to be at this uh, at this festival that you know honors you know it's folks? That unbelievably are. rewarding to have served uh, in the service and then to get out, act, do stand up, and kind of come full circle, and then be able to uh, show my love for the military and to come back out and support them in a way that uh, fits my skills by hosting stuff. So I've done a lot of uh, USO tours and stand up and benefits for wounded warriors or for the boots campaign and stuff and i think it's important for uh, people in the civilian world to to remember why they have the freedoms they do and to support those who fight for those freedoms well i mean you're here um at the uh, show today uh, you're you're here as the mc of the uh of the show so can you comment on you know what uh, folks can expect from that show or what things you have uh, prepared from the show well they're going to expect a few laughs we have the gis of comedy here who are uh who are former military guys who are also stand-up comics, and we have a lot of awards going out. All the people who submitted their films to this festival worked unbelievably hard, and some of them took years to make their films, and now it's coming to fruition for them. And so uh, an amazing week of screenings for these films, and you know, some rise to the top, and they, they're going to be awarded tonight. So it's, it's kind of going to be fun to see what, sh what films are really rewarded here. Jamie, thank you so much for your time, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, Arlie. Um, you know, welcome here to the GI Film Festival. You know, what as a former vet yourself, what is it like to be you know at this uh, uh, festival that's honoring the truth? Number one, I'm going to correct you there because I'm not a former vet. Oh, okay. I am a veteran. There's no question there about go. it. No yeah. doubt in my military mind about that. <laughs> but uh, this is a beautiful thing. This is great. This is uh, this is our Sundance, isn't it? So, I mean, you know, this is, I, I came to the very first one of these film festivals, and it was kind of humble. That was about nine years ago, I think. And, but looking around this, uh, I watched, looked around today a little bit, looked at all the films we were showing. This thing has come a long way. It's out of control, but that's what we want. Bring a little attention to our military, our armed forces, the men and women that take up arms and, and go sacrifice themselves for this country. It's about doggone time, don't you think? Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. So with, with that being said, you know, congratulations with, you know, the uh, award that you, you know, be presented with uh, today. Um, what does it mean to you to, you know, have all that time that was spent in the military to be honored? The yeah, Academy Award means nothing to me. Uh, to be awarded, to be given an award by my peers means everything to me. So this is very this is very humbling for me, and I do appreciate it the the recognition, and uh, it's a beautiful thing. I uh, 
I, uh, I, I just think we need to keep going and keep getting bigger and keep getting better. It's, it's a beautiful thing, the film festival. We need to get everybody interested in coming to the shows. All right, so with, with that being said, you know, Full Metal Jack is perhaps one of the most well-known, you know, films uh, regarding the military, perhaps ever. So I always, you know, wonder when I, uh, when, when I'm asking actors that, that have been in films like that, when you were a part of that film, or when that film was coming together, did you have any idea that it will become the phenomenon that it did? Pretty much, I wrote almost everything I said in the film, and the objective was to finally get one right. And uh, one thing I need to say about Full Metal Jacket is, you know it. It just keeps on giving. <laughs> 30 years later, we're still going strong, you know? And when I did it, it after it was film number five for me. And after I did Full Metal Jacket, I knew the doors would open, and, and they did. The doors flew open, and basically I haven't stopped working ever since. So Full Metal Jacket kind of paved the way for me, and it, it did great things for me. Loved the film. And I could, I've only seen it two or three times. But everybody else seems to have seen it more than I have, that's for sure. I can't go on a radio show, but what the disc jockey doesn't know the lines by heart. It's, it's an amazing film, The Life. And all I can say is thank God, Stanley Kubrick. God bless you. May you rest in peace. So lastly, um, speaking of Full Metal Jacket, I mean, obviously, you know, it's probably among, you know, your favorite films. But to be objective, what, what's another military film recently that, that you've uh, enjoyed quite a bit? Sniper. I thought Sniper was a, a work of art. I think it was a masterpiece. It was well, well written, well directed. It was uh, really rang true. And uh, Michael Moore. He doesn't seem to like it. Well, I just tell him, don't go see the damn thing if you don't like it, you know? That's the way I, that's the way I do with films. If I don't think I like it, I just don't go see it. I've, uh, I've done some other movies that I appreciate, but, but I tell you, none of them even holds a candle to Full Metal Jacket or, or uh, The Sniper. Sands of Iwo Jima was, I mean, you know, that stuck in my mind permanently. It'll never go away, but the Duke, you know, he's one of my heroes anyway, so it worked out good. All right, cool. Well, thank you so much, Arlie. Appreciate your time. My pleasure. Okay, so uh, War Pigs is a World War II action adventure film. Uh, it's about this ragtag, uh, misfit group of soldiers that get formed, formed into this elite fighting group and sent behind enemy lines to destroy one of Hitler's last uh, secret weapons. We got a great cast. We got an Academy Award winning, Academy Award winner in our picture. Uh, Mickey Rourke, we got Chuck Liddell, we got Luke Goss, and we got Dolph Lundgren. So we got a really good cast as well as this guy right here. So with that being said, um, you know, you guys have such uh, an incredible ensemble. And I, and I remember I was listening a bit earlier, you, get, you were talking about uh, that you were envisioning a lot of these, you know, actors in these parts. And it doesn't, you know, in the business, it doesn't always happen that, you know, get the, you know, folks that you envision for those parts. So can you talk a bit of how you were able to get the ensemble that you did? Sure, that's a good question. Actually, I've made other films with Dolph Lundgren. So this is my third picture with him. So I have a relationship with him. He's a really good guy. And as far as the other cast, I've always wanted to work with Luke. I'm a big fan of his work. And Mickey, I mean, he's an Academy, you know, the wrestler. What a film. So it was, a, you know, it took a lot of time and perseverance, but we got a great cast. Working, you know, working with them on set. Yeah, no, uh, what's really fun about watching guys like Luke and Dolph and Mickey work is they're real professionals. And for a younger actor that's just still you know, kind of learning the ropes, just watching them do what they do is such an experience. They really are pros. And it's fun to see, I mean, you watch their movies and they're amazing. And then when you're watching them actually do it in front of the camera, I mean, it's that good. And then they were reciting his lines that he wrote. That was pretty magical. I remember the first day I was really... Happen. It's fun to see them read your lines. It's really cool. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much, and enjoy the rest of the festival. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right.